Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is about maple syrup urine disease. Maple syrup urine disease is an autosomal recessive disorder and it is also called branch chain ketoacid urea. It is caused by deficiency of an enzyme called decarboxylase that initiates the degradation of ketoacid derivatives of three branch chain amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine. The accumulated keto acids of the leucine and isoleucine cause the characteristic order, whereas only the keto acid of the leucine has been implicated in causing CNS dysfunction. Classic maple syrup urine disease is rare in the general population, but much more common in some population isolates such as Pennsylvania Mennonites. Now the signs and symptoms. Many variants of this disorder have been described, including mild, intermittent, and thiamine-dependent forms. Patients with classic maple syrup urine disease are normal at birth. Clinical manifestations typically occur within 1 to 4 weeks of birth. Poor feeding, vomiting, lethargy, and tachypnea commonly are noted. However, hallmark of the disease is profound depression of the central nervous system. This is associated with alternating hypotonia and hypertonia, that is extensor spasm, opisthotonus, and seizures. The urine may have the odor of maple syrup. Unless the diagnosis is made and dietary restriction of branch chain amino acid is begun, most babies will die in the first month of life. But nearly normal growth and development may be achieved if the treatment is begun before about age 10 days. Now the diagnosis. Laboratory manifestation of maple syrup urine disease include hypoglycemia, variable presence of metabolic acidosis, and elevation of the undetermined anions. The acidosis is caused in part by the plasma branch chain organic acids. Now maple syrup urine disease should be strongly suspected in a child with positive urine ketones on the dipstick with no or low beta-hydroxybutyrate. A rapid, more specific test demonstrates the rapid formation of copious white precipitate when 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine is added to the urine sample. Definitive diagnosis of this disease generally is made by showing large increase in the plasma leucine with less increase in the isoleucine and valine concentration and identification of the excess allo isoleucine in the plasma. The urinary organic acid profile is also abnormal and shows the ketoacid derivatives of the branch chain amino acids. Now, prenatal diagnosis is also possible. Now, the treatment. Metabolic formulas deficient in branch chain amino acids are available, but must be supplemented with normal milk and other foods to supply enough branch chain amino acids to permit normal growth and development. Serum levels of branch chain amino acids must be monitored frequently, even at intervals of one or two days, especially in the first month of life, to deal with this changing protein requirement. Ordinary catabolic stresses such as moderate infections or labor and delivery in a pregnant mother with maple syrup urine disease can precipitate clinical crisis. The most feared complication of metabolic decompensation is brain edema. This requires careful management in an intensive care setting. Now, liver transplantation effectively treats maple syrup urine disease. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel.